Another day, another do-rag. It's Rob with another do-rag confessions. Today, we're getting ready to talk about relationships. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, today's day and age with relationships, they vary. A lot of people think they're going to get married after four years of being with the same person after high school and going into college. Now, here's the deal with that. While it may seem ethical and right to do that, you also need to be able to go out and experience some stuff on your own. You know, you're growing up, you're becoming an adult, and after four years of high school, you think you're going to marry this person? There is something wrong. I won't say there is something entirely wrong, but I get why some people do it. But at the same time, too, you know, you weren't as mature as you were four years ago. You were like, what, 14 13, 14 years old, compared to you being 18, you're ready to go out on your own. And here's the other issue that I also have. People who say that they're going to get married after being together after eight months. Okay, you've been together for eight months, yeah, I get that. But at the same time, too, like, eight months is different than being with a person for, like, two years and three years and deciding in your mind because you don't know what could happen after the eighth month or the ninth month. You know, there's people who even say like, I'll say for instance, for myself, one of my exes, we got together and after the first couple of days, she said she loved me. And I was like, wait a minute, like we just started talking. How can you already love me when we just started talking? But that's a whole nother story for another day. On top of that, let's get into the other basis of relationships, which is posting them all on your Snapchat and stuff like that. I get the fact of the matter that that show boo, that show bae, that show wifey, that show hubby, but I'm trying to say you don't have to post them 24-7. I get it. You don't have to show me y'all going to the trash can at 2 o'clock in the morning saying me and Bay taking the trash out. You ain't got to post that at 10 o'clock in the morning. Me and Bay just woke up from an amazing sleep. I don't need to know what you and Bay do on a daily basis. Now, it's cool to post your Bay every once in a while. Or if you're a person that likes to keep it on DL, please, by all means, keep it on the DL. But please, please stop posting your baby all the time because I get it. Y'all want to make it known that this is your baby, this is your boo. I got you. I knew from the from the rip, I knew from the jump that this was your baby. What are you doing? So it is what it is at this point. So I'm going to get up out of here, YouTube. Like and subscribe. Comment down in the comment sections what you think about this relationship stuff in this day and age. Because I, I know I'm not the only person that feels like this. Believe that. I know I'm not the only person that feels like this. I just feel like relationships are always just forcing your face. And you know what? It is what it is. It's society. That's society. You see it all on the social media. You see it all on Instagram and stuff like that. With celebrities too. Like I'm going to use, for example, Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande. How you get engaged after, like, what, a few weeks or so being together? And you know what? People are longing for stuff like that now to where that's what they want. That's what they need. And it's not healthy. You don't. You can't know a person after two months of being with them. You can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. I also want to talk about one last thing. I know I said I was finna get out of here, but something slipped my mind. I know. I got you. People in relationships that are in relationships for the wrong reason. What I mean is girls, or I'm going to say this, girls and guys, girls and guys both, they know what they want. They talk about they want to be in a relationship. I want to be committed to you. But they use their relationship platform to only get sex. And here's my deal on that. If you're going to use a person for sex, don't even bring up the 
conversation of being in a relationship with that person, first and foremost. What you need to do is talk to that person, establish what kind of situationship that you want to even be in, first and foremost, and then go from there. Instead of you saying, I want to be in a relationship with you, and then you wasted this person's time for eight to nine months, maybe 10 months. It doesn't make any sense. I can see like, you know, oh yeah, me and back, yeah, look, I want to uh, just... What the fuck? Like, it's that simple. Just say it. I want to have sex with you. Just say it. I want some top. I want some head. I want some dome. Or girls be like, I want my clit sucked. Something like, damn. Like, it's that simple. Come on now. <sighs> but for real though, this time I'm finna get out of here. Like and subscribe. Comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think on this situation. Till next time, I'm Rob. This is Durag Confessions.